You guys like ice with your water? You have a bottle that's too small to fit ice into? We've all experienced this frustrating mess, but what can we do? Well guys, we clearly have a problem as you can see from that B-roll footage. Um, we have a bottle that we need to get ice into, but it doesn't have a very big hole. So, fear not, I have a 3D printer. So let's just make something. I'm going to head on over to Tinkercad and let's just go with a cone to begin with. And let's get some measurements. So, off this bottle, measure the inside diameter of this. Gives us right at three centimeters. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to scale this down just slightly so it fits in there. So, we will go to about 28. You'll have to forgive this. Uh, Tinkercad runs pretty slow when I have my uh, recording software on, so it's a little laggy. And then for the other side, I've got this cup, which ice pours into really well. So I'll measure the inside diameter of this, and we'll use that for the top of the funnel. Looks like that gives us um, right around 8 centimeters and so that's actually going to be the bottom there um, let's drag a cylinder in here I'll actually duplicate that, we'll need two of them um, but for this one centimeter we'll go ahead and drag that up to 28 So that'll give us the point for the top. And then this one I said 8, so we'll go 80. And this one it doesn't matter how big it is, um, it doesn't need to fit inside of anything, so we're good there. I apologize if you can hear that dog barking, not my dog. Um, and then for this, let's just get rid of a chunk of the tip of it. Because if we don't and we start to bring it up, it goes up really, really fast. So this will just make it easier. Well, let's just do right there is fine. Okay, so now we need to see, we need to bring this guy over okay well that actually worked out pretty well I'm never that lucky Okay, well, that's basically our funnel. Um, what we're going to do is first we'll duplicate this guy. So we need to hollow it out, obviously. And I usually leave just like a two millimeter lip. So I'll bring it one, I'll bring it in one millimeter on each side. Just went a little too far on that one. Okay. Then I'll just group those. We should be able to see the purple thing through it. So that's good. Now let's do the same for this purple one. I'll turn it into a hole. This one I'll leave just a little bit more. Um, I 
just because it has to withstand the pressure of me pushing against the ice. Um, the little lever on the ice machine. Okay, so I'll grab those, group them, and boom. Group the whole thing. There we have our ice funnel. This should work pretty well, but let's print it and test it out. Okay, so I've got it fully 3D printed, did pretty well, no support material or anything, um, worked out pretty good, and moment of truth, it fits. Okay, so let's give this a try. Oh, -ho, success! Except for if you get a big clump like this, it won't go down. <laughs> success! Does this grant me mad scientist status yet? Well, there you guys have it, a 3D printed ice funnel that works for bottles with a slightly big opening. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe below, and that's it for me, YouTube.